Hi there. Welcome back. Thanks for being here with us. Once again, talking about hair laws and things that I see in my daily practice here. Just some things that we want to talk about uh, to help you understand hair loss, to help you better take care of your hair loss. And that's our purpose, okay? It's education. So thanks for being here. If you're already a subscriber to the channel, I want to thank you for that. It's really important for us and we appreciate that. If you're not a subscriber yet, consider subscribing if you like this. We try to put content every once in a while or periodically to uh, of different things about hair loss, hair transplantation and all that stuff. So again, if you're already subscribed, thank you. If you, if you haven't already, please consider it. Either way, click the like button if you enjoy what we're talking about so that more people can see it, okay? Today's theme is gonna be something that I, I always laugh, but it's bad that's out there. It's these commercials of products that, that claim that hair loss is caused by clogged pores, you know? It's, it's just ridiculous. So let's go ahead and talk about that and uh, I'll be with you in a second. So again, welcome back. Thanks for being here with us. So today's video is kind of a little bit of a funny thing, but at the same time, it's pretty serious, you know? I get from time to time these commercials on my YouTube um, when I'm watching a video and everything like that. I, I watch everything, you know, watches, pins, and things that I collect, and some, you know, regular things. And sometimes I get a video and then uh, comes a commercial of a company that says that the latest breakthrough in hair loss and don't believe in treatments that are out there like finasteride and you know transplantation they're dangerous they're invasive we know from science that hair loss is caused by clogged pores and every time i watch one of those you know first of all i want to punch the phone you know <laughs> because it's just there's no there's just no sense it makes no sense to to, to claim that i was even going to do a, a reaction video like i see sometimes of one of those commercials, but I didn't want to be rude and point out any single companies because it's not only one, there's multiple out there. So please don't fall for that, you know? We know people use all sorts of artifacts to sell, sell their products. Hair loss industry is a billion dollar industry uh, in the US alone. So, you know, I understand where they're coming from, but at the same time, when you provide information like that, that's completely false. It just, it doesn't serve any purpose in my opinion, okay? It can, it can just make people make decisions based on facts that are not real. Understand this, the amount of scientific evidence that there is that hair loss, particularly genetic hair loss, male and female pattern hair loss, is caused by hormones, dihydrotestosterone and uh, genetics it's so abundant that if you that, that it will be if i were to get all the articles over the, the years that have been published i probably couldn't fit them in this room you know the evidence the scientific evidence is very abundant it's never been shown that hair loss is caused by your your pores clogging up okay if you ever had an ingrown hair on your scalp on your beard on your body you'll know that hairs keep on growing no matter what you know so if you have a plugged pore the hair underneath is not getting choked up. It doesn't know that the, the pore is clogged. It's gonna keep on growing. And so once you, once you pop that, you're gonna see a huge hair shaft underneath it. So that's the testament that clogged pores don't cause hair loss. And it's ridiculous to tell that to people and uh, say at the same time that the medications are dangerous and they're wrong. When we know as physicians, as scientists, that that's not true, you know? so. Please don't fall for these things. Please don't fall for these claims. You can wash your scalp as much as you want. You can even sand your scalp with sandpaper to try to open up your pores. It's not gonna help your hair loss, okay? I can promise you that. With my 25 years of experience doing this, I can promise you that it's not that, okay? There are some ingrown hairs. Yeah, that's a, that's a, a condition, you know? But uh, no, that's not what causes hair to thin out. That's not what causes baldness. So with that, I'll leave you here. Just a little nugget of information. Hopefully next time you watch these commercials, you'll take, you get a laugh of them like I do, you know? At the same time, I get pissed off because it's, it's bad information being out there. You know, these companies should be really ashamed of themselves. 
of what they're doing, you know. So now you're a more educated consumer, you know, and that's all we can do. We can defend ourselves by knowing more about it. So now you know, and now you're better prepared, okay? This is it for I have today. So if you want to speak with me about your condition, about your personal hair loss, our consultations are always free. Feel free to give us a call or send us an email. I can see you virtually from anywhere, or I can see you here in the office or in Florida or in, in our area. It'll be a pleasure, and we can talk about this too, and we can have a laugh together, okay? Until next time, see you later.